Sue Cowley, a former teacher and author of Getting the Buggers to Behave, is here to offer some no-nonsense advice on how to handle those difficult days in the classroom. She'll be troubleshooting with the help of head teachers, pupils and staff who've all agreed to take part by role-playing situations that highlight some of the key issues. The schools happily stage these scenes and in our mock makeover, Sue demystifies behaviour management theory to reveal common sense tips and tricks based on her own experience in the classroom. Today I'm tackling stress. There's no doubt that teachers are under enormous pressure these days. Excessive workload, poor behaviour, the list goes on and on. Most of the time we can all cope, but everyone has their tough days, like Jackie Rochester here at Summerfield Primary School in Birmingham. Oh. Right, are you ready for school then? You've got everything? 39-year-old Jackie Rochester, a mother of three, lives here in Oldbury, just outside Birmingham. She's been teaching for six years and she's a member of Summerfield School's senior management team. Shanita, I don't remember you giving me any list. Go and have a look if there's anything in the kitchen for you to take. There's nothing to check. Oh! Look at that! Oh, I'm going to have to change that now. Oh, I can see it's going to be one of those days. Well, Jackie's day has obviously got off to a very bad start. It's that rush of adrenaline, that fight-or-flight response you get when faced with the woolly mammoth of a traffic jam on the way into work. But remember, the children don't know anything about Jackie's bad start to the day. They're about to find out. Sharika, can you just put the pencil down, please? Right. I just feel like the children aren't listening to me. Am I talking in another language? So we look at each other. Where are you going, Maria? Well, this is not the time to be getting up and just walking around when I'm trying to teach a lesson. I really don't know how just I'm going to cope. Up, please. That group over there, look, can you just pay attention, please? I've been standing here for 20 minutes trying to get you to listen. Now, look at the objects, look at the fruit bowl. Look, this is your final morning, and I'm really getting my... I'm just, I'm just about to blow for you. Don't stop. I've had an awful day today. Hannah! How long have I been waiting for you? What are you doing? Why have you taken the fruit out of the bowl when you put them back, please? You've ruined it now. What have you done? Look, I set this whole lesson up, and you've ruined it! Get up and get out! Get out! I feel as though I'm just not right for this. There were days when I could cry and this feels like one of them. Well, we've all been there, but what can you do? The stress you're feeling gets picked up by the children and it becomes a vicious circle. Jackie's using a very aggressive style of teaching, but I think I can show her another way. I do feel guilty now, though, thinking about it. Maybe that wasn't the way to shout. But I'm too angry to care. Get out! Now! Well, Jackie, you're obviously having a bit of a bad day today. What, what went wrong in that lesson for you? It just seemed like everything went wrong. I felt like a coiled spring. They were winding me up tighter and tighter. And I just felt totally ready to explode. It just, you know, I was just so angry. And, you know, there's some days when you can control that feeling, aren't there? Mm. And it's this kind of instinctive response to really difficult behaviour. You get this rush of adrenaline, and on the good days, you can just squash it back down again and say, no, I'm going to stay calm. But on the bad days, it comes out, and it mm. comes out in you attacking the kids. And what happened to your voice during that lesson? 
I do know that I was just shouting, you know, and it, it, it just happened. I just was shouting, they're not listening, so you shout louder, you get angry, you know. You know, it's a funny thing with shouting. I often advise teachers to only ever shout when they're not angry. So the class being noisy, you're very calm, and then you turn on a penny, you suddenly go, right, I want everybody quiet now. And because it's not coming out of anger, mm. it's coming out of control, yeah. the kids see that they're not actually winding you up. Mm. How do you think the children feel after that lesson? Well, I think if the relationship would have been broken down, if we were building any relationships, you know, I can see that some of the children now think that um, that's the way I am. So, you know, and, I, and shouting at them all the time doesn't make them listen anymore. So it can spoil a good relationship. I just don't think that they care. Rather than shouting, you can use some sort of shock tactic. I call okay. it the theatrical gesture. I'll give you a quick demonstration. So the class are all really noisy, really rowdy. And then I suddenly go, I can't take it anymore. They're not listening to me. And they laugh and then you've got them. Now, why don't we go and have a look at a few things in detail from that lesson and see if we can work out what went wrong and how we can put it right. OK, thank you. Now, what you need to be doing... To don't forget Jackie staged stage this temper tantrum. Look, She's actually an exceptional teacher. Look. We had a lot thank of fun you. pulling apart her performance to highlight the key issues related to stress. So, Jackie, we're at the start of the lesson here. Now, what sort of state are you in at this point? By the time I'd gone through the, the classroom door, I was already at my wit's end. I was stressed, very, very uptight already. Sharika, can you just put the pencil down, please? When we're right. feeling tense ourselves, we can tend to overreact to very small things. Because at this stage, you're trying to get the class quite quiet so you can explain the lesson but already you're being quite aggressive towards them. Mm -hmm. And it's almost a defensive way of teaching because right. you're sort of defending yourself against their attack before they've actually shape. done that Back much that's actually paper. wrong. Mm -hmm. so we look at each what happens when this little girl gets up out yeah, of her right. seat? How do you react well, to that this one? is not the time to be getting up and just walking around when I'm trying to teach a lesson. <laughs> at the time, it didn't feel like I was overreacting, but looking at it, I can see that I've completely gone over the top. I'm just about to blow for you. Don't stop. I've had an awful day today. Now, I, I notice just here you admit here that you're in a foul head. mood, yes. but you do it in quite an aggressive way. Now, sometimes it's best not to say anything and to pretend to be in a good mood, particularly if the class is to wind you up, if you admit to it. But with some classes who are on your side, what you can do is say, look, children, I'm not feeling too great today and I really need you to be gentle with me. And that can just help them understand that you're not feeling great mm. and if they're on your side they'll normally you know help you out a bit. Yeah. Mm. What about your relationships with individuals in the class at this point? Um, I think I've actually ruined quite a few. Um, I've, uh, I'm, I'm shouting and, and actually it's, it's such, so aggressive here it looks quite scary. Yes and you get quite personal don't you? You pick out a few children and you refer to them by names and it's almost like you're shining a spotlight on those children and saying look everybody look how naughty this particular child is yeah, and when we're, in, when we're feeling positive about ourselves and about the children we focus on those children who are doing what we want. Mm. Whereas when we're feeling negative and we're having a really bad start to the day, we let a lot of that negative emotion come out. Yeah. What are you doing? Why have you taken the fruit out of the bowl when you put them back, please? And I notice here that some of those boys are playing around with the fruit. How did that make you feel? Well, I'd asked them to, you know, I'd told, explained to them that we were going to be doing still life art and uh, I, I think I've lost control of that group there because they're just continuing and I can't get all of them to settle. And you've taken it very personally and again, when we're in a bad mood, it's very tempting to take what the children do personally. What have you done? Look, I've set this whole lesson up and you've ruined it! You've got what now, this is the point school. where you really exploded. Oh, get out of my classroom, get out now! Your initial reaction will be from here. It'll be an emotional, instinctive reaction, and that will be why you exploded. If you can calm your heart down a bit and think, let's react rationally, let's think about this from my head. OK, the water's spilt, there's nothing we can do about it, and this is all in your head before you even intervene. Water's spilt, nothing we can do about it. She probably didn't mean it, it was probably an accident, so what am I going to do next? What could you have done next in that situation, rather than panicking and exploding? 
Hmm. Well, possibly. I think I could have got the children to clear up um, the mess and just ask for some paper towels and, you know, just... You know, if I remained calm, I think then the situation would have calmed down. Yeah, and I, I think you sort of intervened to try and clear it up for them. This morning, when Jackie plunged to her lowest ebb, she even began to doubt whether she was cut out for teaching at all. Well, why are you still sitting there? Get up and clearly it up. Were you expecting me to do it? I couldn't do any other job. But today, I don't feel like I can do this one. Jackie's simulated doubts and fears represent no more than a blip on a bad day, something we've all faced. But long-term stress is seriously damaging the profession. A recent survey revealed one in three teachers expect to leave the profession within five years, many blaming stress. One way to relieve the tension is to share your problems with others. You know, it's vital to take some time out, particularly if you're having a bad day like Jackie. Make time to go to your staff room. You'll get great support there, so long as your colleagues have got time to listen. And the lesson was absolutely horrendous. The children were off the wall. Jackie's lucky. Her colleagues are good listeners. Having a chat helps you remember that you're not the only one having problems. So, could Jackie handle that still life class without a temper tantrum, flying fruit and spilt paint pot? Here she is using a few of my tips and tricks. Right, can I just, just before we start, just to make sure that I know everybody's listening, can we please put all the pencils down and can I see your hands? Everybody stand your hands. Jackie's calm, consistent and polite approach well, delivers immediate results. Lesson. And when there is a little chattering, she just waits and waits and waits until her silence gets the attention of the whole class. Where are you going, Kenna? To the toilet. Let me just give everybody the instructions and then you can go. Thank you very much. I want you to take up your pencil and I want you to make sure that your artwork is exactly what you are looking at. I want you to make sure that you are looking at it and putting that onto the paper. Go. Yes, Hannah? Can I go to the oh, yes, sorry, yes, off you go. That irritating pencil tapping sounded like a pneumatic drill. Well done, everybody. I'm still waiting for somebody to put their pencil It drove down. us all mad, well done, but it's Rick easily Hayes, silenced with just a few gentle comments. Well done. Jackie has thank stopped you. making unreasonable demands. She's replaced thank commandments you. with requests well and lots that. and lots of Excellent. praise. Brilliant. She doesn't hesitate in getting down to the level of the pupils to offer some help. A little sugar certainly goes a long way. So even the most stressful day can be handled in a way that stops teacher tension passing on to the children. Here are the key points. Avoid shouting and aggression. Be calm, consistent and polite. Focus on the good behaviour and take time out during the day. That's it. I'll be back with more tips next time.